Welcome back to a new day. I'm sitting out on the porch because I wanted Mabel to have some runaround time. And we got so much rain yesterday, you guys. It rained on and off and heavy. Look at my hostas up here shooting out their flowers finally. <laughs> Mabel's over here. She can see the cows from a distance. There's one right there. And she doesn't like it. But anyways, I wanted to show you the hostas. And then over there, those are lilies on the other side of the porch. And look at those. They've got their stems up. And they, they shot their stems up probably a week ago. But look at that. Starting to bud up. Just look at that view out there. The zebra grass left of the gas tank. Gladiolas to the right of the gas tank are blooming. And things just look so good. I got, um, oh, I was going to mention, we got that solar bug zapper put up there, but we don't have to turn it on. It's not on now, obviously, so we got to figure that out. And I got this wind chime hung here the other day, and it's just, um, it's really peaceful. It's like rainy morning vibes. It's chilly. It feels wonderful. And when Maple was out running around over there by the hay bales, there was a hummingbird over here checking out all my plants. That's fun. So yesterday, a friend stopped by and brought me two borage plants. There's one, and there's the other. And I got the cilantro and basil planted. And over there, this is the mint. I don't know if I showed you guys this or not. Here's where I put the mint. Did the mint like that so it can stay confined and I've just been cleaning out my truck and we're fixing to go to out to eat lunch kitty cats out to eat lunch for my husband's birthday when we drive down to get that curio cabinet so I'm really excited also when we cleaned up the carport the other day see so much less stuff I found my bluebird bath placed it here and then the concrete bird path I put here. Isn't that lovely? Mm -mm. So I am wrapping up cooking stuff inside for my husband's birthday barbecue and um, he's got the meat on the grill and I'm finishing up our last side so I thought I would show you just really quickly how to make it because I think I can do that one-handed and it is baked asparagus in the air fryer freaking love it I've been making it every weekend um, also we adopted got one of our kittens adopted today Minnie, the little calico, she just found a new home about 10 minutes ago. Kind of sad. She was so sweet. We just really don't want to keep any of the females, but she's precious. So happy for her. So we use liners. Just recently got this new um, oil thing to keep out on the counter. So you're just going to put some, this is uh, avocado oil. Just kind of dousing that in that. Here we've got just salt and pepper. And then this is my garlic powder. my hand and I just kind of toss them around oh my gosh these are so good anyways put the air fryer in 350 for 
like 11 to 12 minutes and they'll be like a little toasty. If you don't like them toasty, you just want them soft, try like eight minutes. Oh my gosh. Touchless faucet coming in handy. Love this thing. We're using up some Easter blades we had left. And then we've got all of our fixins out here on the counter. And then we did broccoli salad, deviled eggs, apple pie, and cheesecake. I just need to put this pan up. All right, so it's official. We have officially adopted out both of our female kittens. I'm so excited. So a lady came yesterday to meet Socks and then fell in love with Minnie. So she adopted Minnie. And then she went back home with her kids and the kids kept talking about Minnie because they played with them both while they were here. And did I say that right? She came to adopt Socks and fell in love with Minnie. And then when she went back home, they were talking about socks. So she messaged me this morning and asked if they could come and get socks too. And she just came and got her. And now she has socks and mini, and I'm so glad. So we do have the two kittens we're keeping plus a third male, which I said we would keep if we needed to. He's beautiful. I love him already. And he's named Cornelius. Um, so I'm going to take down all my cat adoption posts and stuff. I'm really excited that they found homes and that the two kittens, the two girls get to stay together. So that's going to be so good for them. That makes my heart happy. All right. So I've got a conference call in about 15 minutes. So I was letting Maple out to walk around and get some movement before I need her to be good and quiet. So I thought we would come to the kitchen garden and I thought I'd just show you things really quickly. I think this is the reality with hollyhocks. Every year they've done this to me. Look how sprawled out and gnarly they look. <laughs> I I don't know. I'm just leaving it. Last year I tied them, actually tied them to the house so they would be upright. But, you know, it's like a three-year-old perennial. I just want to wait, see what it does. But, you know, it's funny is these cucumbers in containers are like twice as old as the ones in the bed. And the ones in the bed are thriving i'll show you those in a sec but check out these beautiful glads i love these how pretty the glads we planted together look at them coming up love it still haven't worked on finishing this project yet i was planning today to be a project day for myself i really got to move that plant it's gnarly looking um because I've got a, a couple of days until two really big work projects start for, for me. And so I know that like the rest of the week is going to be like hunkered down, super busy work-wise tied to my desk. But tomorrow we're going to Heber Springs to see family. My relatives from Arizona drove in last night and they're going to be here for two weeks up at my aunt's lake house. So I'm going to be trying to take every opportunity I can to go up there and see them while they're in town. We will go on the weekend so like all the family can go, but we're also going to go a couple times during the week because I have the freedom to do that working from home. But <sighs> tomorrow Mabel has her appointment at the vet. She's getting fixed. I was really torn on it. I booked the appointment months ago, but I was really torn on actually following through with it because she's such a great, perfect, beautiful dog. I really wanted to breed her. But then some family members were reminding me that with outside dogs, which she's not outside by herself a ton, but she is, that when she comes into heat for the first time, that she could just get pregnant by any random dog. And I don't, I don't want none of that. I don't want to have to deal with that. So, so we're doing it. So tomorrow I'm taking her to the vet and then we're going to Heber because it's kind of like you're halfway there <laughs> when you're at the vet and we'll do all that. So we're just going to kind of do everything. So 
Anyways, here's how this spot is doing. It's still one of my favorite spots. It's so cute and colorful. Look at this guy. The sun fell. I don't know if I've showed that in videos, but the first hummingbird here in the sun keeps falling. I have um, hung them twice now, so I'll have to figure out something different. Some herbs I put in this new bed recently, and this plant here, you can see it's like mounded up. I don't think you can even tell how bad it is, like in, on the camera. See how mounded up that is? <laughs> Um, that looks bad. I need to get that in the ground ground, but I put it here so I could baby it. Cause see, I trimmed off all the dead and it's crazy looking. These are two boorish plants a friend gave me. They're very sad. Transplant shock. I know. So are the brassicas over there. They're just, they're being all sad. Oh, one thing my husband and I discovered today is I was over here looking at these plants and I was like, what is this? It looked like a vine. This was longer. My husband broke it off by accident when he grabbed it. But these are supposed to be peppers. But this one and that one, they they look like beans or something. But look how happy the peppers are. They're not behind at all. They're great size for this time of year. They're thriving. They've got flowers on them. These over here are doing really great too. There's a ladybug she is so that's nice and then over here we have our first tomato turning orange it's really small but that's okay the one below it is about the same age so it should start turning soon this is that other cabbage or cucumber I was talking about that is like half the age as the one in the container and this guy is so happy I grew cucumbers here last year. They did great. And I had a little trellis. So I'm going to have to add the trellis. Currently, he's about to choke out this tomato. And this tomato. There's three tomatoes over here. But look at these. This, this right here. This lettuce is about to try to go to seed. Look at that. When it starts getting like that. We don't want you like that. No. Don't do that. I'm going to have to harvest that soon. And try it both of these are lettuce varieties i've never grown before look at that kale which let me admit this to you last week when i did my meal plan for this week i plan on making zuppa toscana tonight which is an italian soup with potatoes kale and italian sausage and it's amazing and so i ordered kale on my weekly grocery order and i've got this giant kale plant i was out here like yesterday and i thought why'd i do that I guess you just got to kind of get back into that mindset, switching from winter to summer of like, okay, do I have this in the garden? Is it ready? Can I use it? Whatever. When you're just, you've been kind of used to like buying a lot of stuff over the winter. So there's Cornelius. Hi Cornelius. So cute. Oh, he's so cute. Okay, that's probably enough distraction, so I've got to get in and get ready for my conference call. I swear, this is so my ADD live. Tell me if you can relate. So, that meeting got canceled, and I was like, yay! <laughs> so, anyways, I'm just at my desk getting to work. Maple had literally just come in from outside with me. Fed her lunch, and then she freaks out. Just need to go outside. She's like, oh my god, I gotta go outside. And I'm like, okay, well maybe she's gonna go potty. She's going awful crazy. And I don't want to go outside. I have a lot of work to do. I have things to catch up on. So I sent her out alone. And then I was standing here in the doorway. And my ADD brain just took over. And I'm like, oh yeah, there's clothes in the dryer. So I need to grab those. And then I'm thinking to myself, oh, okay. So I'll fold these clothes. And then, oh yeah, those two packages came in. I'll go open those. Because the thing is, is I can't sit down and get back to work. Or I'll forget she's outside. So I have to just do a couple of random things where before I zone into work, I know to check on her again. Came in is Maple's um, canvas waterproof mat thing for the back of the truck, which is exciting. And a box that I don't know what's in it. Oh. It's two things for Maple. So that's exciting. This is her new really huge 
uh, pillow thing for inside her kennel. And I guess it takes a while to air up. Let's see. Holy cow. Could her bed even be that big? <laughs> and by air up, I meant floof out because it's, you know, like vacuum sealed. Okay, well, that's super pretty. How fun. ADD mess. So, what it says is that it takes like a full 24 hours to get as fluffy as intended. Okay. So, let's see. I don't really care. I mean, it's right now she doesn't have one. So, even like it being this big would be just fine. Well, that's pretty nice. Her kennel is that big. How funny. <laughs> Such a huge kennel. And as predicted, she's run off. But anyway, I also wanted to mention, because you'll see me starting these pretty soon, that these flower seeds came in from Etsy. They're Senorita Zinnias, which is a type of cactus zinnia. So they're pink and really floofy and wrinkly and frilly, and I can't wait to grow them. Here's what her new, like, the cargo liner looks like. I'm not going to open it up right now and show you guys because I just don't feel like messing with it, but I am going to take it out to my truck. I made an effort the other day to deep clean my truck and we've been doing a lot of moving and hauling and all that junk in the back. So, um, I organized the back, which there's not much in the back. And I used to have one of those really cool cargo organizers and I just need to get another one because I have no idea where that went, but I just grabbed an extra, um, tote bag thing, tote container, organizer container that was right there in the carport with all that stuff and just put it in the back of the truck to hold the few small loose things. And I'm going to do that for now. I'll show you. There's a puppy. Hi, Mabel. So see, there's not much back here. Or you want to go somewhere? I just grabbed this guy. The truck has a DVD player, so all of these were always up in like the back of the passenger seat, which meant my tallest kid Riley would always have his knees against that pocket these were in. So um, I just got my glass wipes, and then this is like a one of those inverter things. My oldest child just swears by taking this everywhere in the truck. So there's that. So here is Maple's divider thing which will just basically stay in here all the time so let me see if i can get it to fit in there all right so it'd fit a little bit better if the thing was bigger but oh well at least it's all in there i'm just really not feeling well all of a sudden which is weird because if you think about like you've spent the whole last 10 15 minutes with me minus like a four minute section where i wasn't filming and there's our big trash pile. <laughs> um, I'm just feeling very scatterbrained and then it's just not feeling well. So I need to get Maple to cooperate. <sighs> Maple, Ernesto is trying to play with you. There's Ernesto, sitting on a pillow. Well, hi. Hi, be nice. Is she gonna rub up against you? I mean him, is he gonna rub up against you? Be careful with your big feet. Be nice. Hey, buddy. Hi, buddy. Oh, you're so cute. You're so cute. All right, so I still don't feel well. It is the end of the day. I'm just trying to muster through. I am making dinner and I'm making Zupa Toscana, Italian soup. Really excited. 
wanted to show you this. I decided this will be a great place to hang these cute um, foresty monstera leaf uh, kitchen towels I got. And in that last video when we were at Home Depot, if you couldn't tell, I could not decide on a color. Um, for, and the color, just to refresh your memory, is for this wall in the dining room and that wall. This one we're going to be redoing the paneling, but after we do, we're painting it. And we're planning on doing white, the Night Blooming Jasmine. This feels so stark to me. It's a little different vibe right now because I have the chandelier on and it's a very, a very blue light. I'll bring this down a peg. But uh, see, I just don't like that. There's no separation between the wall and the trim. So that clip I was showing in the store last night was that I got the vine leaf and the ultra pure white, which is what our um, baseboards and crown are. And I was basically walking around comparing and I'm trying to figure out which ones. Okay, these are the ones I got samples of. I'm gonna take these over here. My husband's mowing. So while I'm waiting for the soup to boil, I thought I would do this because, you know, it doesn't really take any effort. But anyway, so we've got wall, I mean, trim. And one thing I was trying to remind myself of in the store is that this wall color is not always going to match up right next to this. Like in this dining room, it's not. It's, it's going to be new color, new color. So visually, right here, they'll meet up just visually, but they don't physically meet up. Now, in the living room, they'll physically meet up in one spot or two, I guess. And in our room, they would too. So, with my samples, let's get organized here. And like I told you before, I try to pick based on their names. Like, if I really like their name. There goes my husband. Oh, there he is. Okay, so, Egyptian Pyramid here. So I don't go just strictly off of the name, but like I look at colors I get in the family of something that I like. And then I'm like, oh, okay, you know, cause everything around each other is very similar. And then I look at the names. Okay. So what we have are Egyptian pyramid, cool, silky bamboo, summer wood, and tea time. Pretty cool. So there's the difference. So. Before, I wish I had a card of the Night Blooming Jasmine, but basically it's not much different than this. There is a difference, just not enough. So I'm afraid that this is where I initially, where I'm kind of pulled to go, but I don't think it's enough of a difference. If you put these together and you remove this, there's a difference, but man, I gotta see it on the wall. I just can't tell. Everything else I picked much warmer tones because that's what I want is I want warmth but like this is pretty dark to be two whole walls in our bedroom so I'm just so I'm torn so you can see my predicament here I, I want to lean towards these because these are meant to be more like neutral walls not accents anyway so my phone's about to die so I'm gonna go charge this I'm gonna get these samples up and then I'll show them to you so I've got these samples up in in several rooms and I'm gonna go around and show them to you now but most of them are still wet. So what we'll do is in the next video, hopefully tomorrow's video, I'll show you what it looked like, um, like in bright light. Cause that's one thing I wanted to do is in each room, I wanted to see what the colors look like evening and dusk now. Um, and then bright light in the daytime. Cause that makes a bigger difference than you realize. This is our room.
here's the new cargo liner I got from Maple. Waterproof. It does fold up into a little bag. I didn't notice that until I actually got it all open, but comes up the sides, back. Probably going to tighten that a bit because it's definitely made for bigger trucks. But anyways, it's adjustable. Got this side here. So just wanted to get that ready for her tonight because I'll be loading her up at like 7 in the morning. Probably still half asleep.